here we are, the great Leesport Farmer's Market Flea Market in Leesport, Pennsylvania. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Uh, decent turnout so far for vendors and as well as buyers. There's a lot of people here, but we're here. It is currently 5.45 in the morning. You know, you have to be, you have to be here early. And uh, it's part of the game. I think today might be a good day. Uh, I'm not going to say I want to score like a thousand dollar deal, but hopefully we pick up something. And uh, this place is kind of a bust to me for the most part, just because I think it gets picked over so early. But let's see what we can find. Pretty neat how they have everything in totes. Like someone just left their stuff overnight. Yep. Okay. Um, those, all those dishes need to go in a box and You want just them in a starlight or in a box? In the
because of his tail, he keeps falling off. So for a recap of what was picked up today at the flea market, um, you guys saw me pick up the hats, and I stuck around for a little bit longer, and you know I found around a, a couple other things, but nothing you know too spectacular. This is a Lehigh hat. This is a Lehigh hat. It um, it can be Lehigh anything, Lehigh Valley, you know, Lehigh University, Lehigh Milk, Lehigh, Lehigh you know, trains, whatever. Um, iron pigs, you can say it's anything. It says Lehigh on it. It's always kind of neat. I live in the Lehigh Valley, so to come across this, you know, someone else might want it if they're a big fan of, you know, being a resident of Lehigh Valley. So, pretty neat. Pretty neat hat. Little patch logo on it. This one's pretty shot, but I think I can rejuvenate it some way. University of Alabama, snapback hat. Really, really yellowed, but... I think I can do something with it. These two hats were a dollar each. You know, I'm expecting to get probably ten bucks a piece for them. Found these two pieces in a fifty cent box. I thought they were brass. It says made in China at the bottom. I don't know if it's been like soldered or something. Pretty dusty. They feel like brass, they look like brass, but considering it's from China, never know. Um, I'm going to take them to the flea market. I'm going to take it to the flea market. They're bookends, I believe, and probably ask five or ten bucks for the pair. Uh, if I got five bucks, you know, it's a couple dollars in profit, but it's not much. So, probably can scrap it for two dollars. Yeah, probably can get two dollars in scrap for the pair. So, I'll always make, I'll make money. I won't lose money, but. That was a lot neater when I was up there in person when I was 50 cents a piece. You really can't beat it. This is kind of the prized possession of the day. Guy had a bunch of duffel bags and stuff like that. I asked him how much he wanted. He had all his luggage. He's like, ah, oh, the Samsonite, because he had Samsonite luggage. He was like, yeah, you know, give me 15, 20 bucks. You know, I was like, I just want this bag right here. It is a Patagonia bag. It has a, it's a Patagonia bag. Ten bucks. Picked it up for. It has the logo on the bottom. I did a little bit of research online. There's a couple on eBay. A couple have sold. One's been really, really shot that was sold. And I think it sold for like $20. One that's in mint condition, I think brand new, sold for $200. So, expecting at least $80 or $100 for it. It's in pretty good condition. But I'll probably clean up a little bit. Work on it. Um... Patagonia Patagonia is a is a great brand to buy if you're a reseller. I think I'll come out with a top five clothing brands to come out. This might be in it. Might do a video on that. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see one of those. But other than that, decent pickups. 
you know, this is on the way to a thrift store. As you can see, I did my thrift store vlog. There's a couple other bags not pictured that I picked up today. Um, but a couple nice pieces. So probably 20 bucks for the hat. Maybe 5 bucks on the low end for this. 80 bucks for that. It's not bad for an hour's worth of work walking around a flea market and enjoying the day. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button so I know I'm doing the right thing. If you're stopping in for the first time, definitely check out my other videos. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.